What is the objective of his view on gays in the military? I never heard Ayn Rand uh, discuss this question. In my own opinion, I don't see any reason against it. Inherent to the nature of armies, the Greek armies, for instance, the soldiers outdid one another to impress their lovers. And I don't think in any event, sex of any kind should be public in the military. I don't think they should, soldiers of either sex or any persuasion should hold hands, whether straight or gay, men or women. Now, it's possible that, it, I don't know, all I have to say is, if it could be proved that uh, uh, gays in the military weaken the morale uh, of straits, then uh, that would override, because we have to have an effective military, even if their straits are affected that way uh, by prejudice. We, we can't compromise uh, military uh, effectiveness. So in that case, we'd have to use education uh, to uh, achieve the end of uh, equality. But I certainly don't know that that's the case. And I don't trust the traditionalist generals. So I'd have to say, I see no philosophic reason against it, but I'm not knowledgeable on the practical side.